Hey folks, I just wanted to explain what I did to clear the clog in our black water tank in our fifth wheel. Um, I had gone online, I had read about uh, using chemicals and snakes and uh, a couple different methods. Um, finally, uh, what I had on, had on hand was a snake. Now some people said that, well, if you jam it up in there and you twist it around a lot, it could like knot itself all up and you won't be able to get it back out. Um, so I was careful, uh, I'll explain that in just a minute. But now we've had this clear piece on here for quite a while. Um, and uh, what some folks would show doing is they would put a small hole either in this hose, um, well, in this hose, and then that would ruin it, right? So you'd have to get another one. Um, but what that did was you, you could push the snake or the water hose into a small hole and then up into the tank uh, without, you know, having a whole lot of mess coming down. And, uh, you know, if this whole piece was off, of course, a big mess would start coming down, obviously. So um, <clears throat> so what I did is, uh, see, this has this valve on here for squirting water up the pipe, right, for uh, one of the ways to clean things out. And, well, it turns out that I thought, well, let me put a snake up there. Um, and it turns out that the hole going through there wasn't big enough for the snake. I have a one-quarter by 20 snake here, um, but the one quarter is the uh, tightly wound portion. Uh, it's not that portion there on the end, that's about a half an inch. It's the tightly wound portion uh, of, the, of the main snake that's a quarter inch. So uh, this piece at the end is a half an inch, so or a little bit more than half an inch. So I actually had a drill right up in here, uh, just like that. I drilled half inch, and it was actually a little bit bigger than that, so I had to kind of rotate the drill bit around a little bit and uh, to get that uh, large enough. Um, it turns out too that it seems like the structural integrity of this piece is still good. So I may replace this piece, I may not, we'll just see what happens. Um, and then this, this just comes out, right? You drill up there, push the snake up. Uh, I had to go around a couple of bends like you wouldn't have to do I guess in all fifth wheels with the toilet mounted up in the front. Um, other trailers, you know, the black water tank is typically right below the toilet so that makes this process a little easier but uh in a fifth wheel so i i pushed it up there i had to twist the snake uh, a couple times to get around corners but once i was i thought i was kind of in the tank and you know you just have to sort of do that by feel and or measure and see how many feet back then i would just push the snake in and out in and out and not do the twisting anymore because i was afraid that it might get all knotted up in there and then not come back out so now one improvement that could have been done here is if this was up on top that way when stuff starts coming down because uh, remember I had the snake going up here what I did was I took another rubber glove and I jammed it in there around the snake so when the release started to happen I only got a few drops of mess here it really wasn't too bad but better yet would be if and what I could have done was was rotated this whole body 90 degrees and then this would have been up on top um, but then that made this portion down here have quite the U in it. And anyway, and I thought, well, it's, you know, it's uh, going to flow better if I just keep it the way it is. Anyway, that's what I chose to do. Um, and it worked for me. Now, I did, the reason this happened, I think, is because we had the black water tank, uh, the valve open continuously for months. And now I've read you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so lesson learned. Uh, but 24 hours ago, I did put like a gallon of drain cleaner down that didn't seem to do anything, but I'm just saying that's something that might have helped in my case. I put a gallon of drain cleaner down there, and uh, that was about, uh, oh, at least 12 hours ago, more like 18 hours ago. And, um, and uh, you know, let all that soak in there for a while, and also filled the tank. Um, it wasn't completely full. Uh, we just noticed it was clogged because nothing more was coming out of here. So we added more water to it and just let all that soak. And, um, and then I took uh, about four or five times. I'd put the snake up there, I'd get a release, and then it would stop. Put the snake up there, get a release, and then it would stop. So I had to repeat the process four or five times, but finally, it's running, running good. Hope this helps. Happy RVing. Okay, take care. Bye.